let's take a closer look at xylazine. Xylazine is a depressant commonly found in non-prescription opioids to enhance opioids' desired effects. Some may seek out xylazine in their drug supply, however, others may unknowingly consume it. Understanding our drug supply is vital for ensuring safety within our communities and keeping our loved ones alive. Xylazine is a tranquilizer sedative drug that is not approved for human consumption. It is often found in non-prescribed fentanyl and prolongs the drug's desired effects, which include sedation and feelings of relaxation. Some other effects of xylazine include muscle relaxation, pain relief, as well as slower heart and breathing rate. Xylazine consumption may also result in severe wounds appearing anywhere on the body. Xylazine wounds are sometimes hard to detect. However, if an atypical wound appears and is accompanied with blisters or scabbing, it may be a xylazine wound. Wounds can appear anywhere on the body regardless of how a person consumes a drug. Wounds are particularly common on the legs and arms. Check these areas regularly for any wounds that may develop. Signs of infection, afflicted skin color changes, pain, decreased mobility, or numbness of the afflicted area. It is important to address the wound when to take action on xylazine wounds. Take care of the wound as soon as it develops. By taking care of wounds right away, people reduce the risk of infection and other health complications. What to do for xylazine wound care? Clean hands before touching any wound. Gently wash the wound. Keep the wound and skin around it moist with a wound or burn dressing. Meta honey is recommended. Avoid using hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, lemon juice, and vinegar on wounds. Use gauze and medical tape and or a bandage to dress wounds. Make sure it is not too tight. Keep at body temperature and covered at all times. Clean and redress the wound regularly. Change the dressing every one to three days. Note that antibiotics may not be needed. If the wound does not improve, it is advised to seek medical attention at a local clinic or hospital. It is important to remember to keep the area moist, clean, and redress the wound regularly. So what can be done to reduce harm from xylazine? Stay educated about the unregulated drug supply. Test the product using a xylazine test strip. Add water up to the five milliliter water line as indicated on the package and mix in a 10 milligram sample. Dip the strip to the max line into the solution for 60 seconds. Let the strip dry one to three minutes, then check results. Reduce use of products with xylazine if possible. Address xylazine wounds ASAP. Avoid using a loan if possible. Carry naloxone as xylazine is commonly found in opioids. Learn more about xylazine by joining the Center of Expertise training team at ACR Health. For more information, visit www.acrhealth.org COE or email coe at acrhealth.org. ACR Health, opening doors to create healthier communities.